hello guys and welcome to this uh, tutorial series on solving algorithms today we are going to see a problem uh, to separate out only the odd numbers uh, in an array so this problem is a very simple problem you will be given a bounded array which is consisting of uh, odd and even numbers and non-negative the output is to um, to display only the odd numbers in the array so since this is a, a very trivial problem but we should not be jumping to the solution we should be asking the interviewer that can we use extra memory space if the interviewer says yes the program that we are going to see uh, is the solution but if the interviewer says that you should not be using an extra memory space we will see uh, an in-place algorithm to do it in a different video uh, so uh, let's jump to the solution um, the the first two uh, conditions uh, check for the boundary conditions of the uh, input if the array length is uh, zero we should be returning null and uh, the array length is one and the only number which is present is an odd number return the input array itself so we used a variable called odd count which helps to find the odd numbers in the array so i i tried through the entire input array and check if uh, uh, every number, each number is an odd or even number and I keep track of the count. So the next time I am declaring an array uh, with the count uh, as odd count, uh, with the size as the odd count. Uh, and then I iterate through the same input array and check if uh, any of these numbers are odd numbers and I am add adding that odd number to the result array and then returning the result so uh, since we have written this program we should be able to test this program uh, we sh usually we should not be using a public static void minus a driver program we should be and the interviewers will be expecting you to write uh, some unit test cases uh, to check the correctness of the program so i have uh, written unit test so let's see um, how that goes with this is remove okay so this is the uh, unit test uh, so I have uh, taken an input array which contains numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the result has to be uh, 1 3 5 7 so what am I doing is I am just the first asset is based on the uh, uh, the result size so given this input it has 4 odd numbers and 4, four even numbers I have asserted on the length of the, uh, the output that I get and I also have asserted on uh, the first element uh, in the result array you can add as many assertions as you want and also um, uh, give many inputs such as uh, passing only set of even numbers passing only set of odd numbers passing an empty array and passing an array with only uh, only one even number and passing an array with only one odd number uh, so the in the interview the interviewer might not be expecting you to uh, come up uh, and write all the uh, test cases on your own but if you write few test cases to demonstrate that uh, you can write test cases efficiently that would be more than enough uh, so let me execute this test case Yeah, the test case passed. So, yeah, thanks for your listening to this video, and uh, let's meet on the next tutorial with a different algorithm on a different day. Thank you.